Right, everybody, it's Coach Brown. Uh, we're going to change up what we're going to do tonight. Uh, we were planning on doing matrices tonight uh, and systems of equations, um, but that's, uh, like I told you guys the first week, probably the most difficult concepts we'll cover, so we probably do need to do those together. I um, wanted to, to go ahead and, and slide probability to the front. It's actually a pretty easy lesson to do. It's pretty short, um, and, and hopefully this, this screencast will be a, a good way to get this information. I've done this before, done this with quite a lot of success uh, with with, uh, with information in the past. So um, you'll be able to look at these videos, watch them over and over again. Certainly send me emails if you have any questions about anything that you see. Um, this, this stuff should be pretty straightforward, but but you know if you do have any questions, and you might, um, please uh, feel free to send me an email and ask. All right, so with probability, we're we're set looking at two different types of probability. The two, two different types of probability. The first is called empirical, and the other is called theoretical. Okay, empirical probability is probability that we can actually observe. after a simulation. Okay, so that's going to be after an experiment, after the, the die is rolled, after a quarter is, is, uh, is tossed. Um, but empirical probability that we can actually measure, write down, and record. Theoretical is what should happen at the end of some simulation. So in theory, uh, if you flip a, a, a fair six-sided die, uh, you have a one in six chance of landing on two. Um, but the, the, the truth of that is you could flip it a hundred times and never land on two. Um, but in theory, theoretically, you should land on two a sixth of, a t of the times that you flip the, the, the die. Okay. Um, empirically, however, it may only happen, you know, three out of one hundred times, and so your empirical probability then will be three out of one hundred versus uh, a sixth of the the one hundred times. Okay. Um, the first two problems you have here actually have us just list out some empirical probabilities. Um, the first problem says two coins are tossed 20 times and the number of tails is observed. Okay, so this is just a frequency table and it tells you two tails was uh, land, landed on one time, one tail zero times, zero tails actually 19 times. And the theoretical probability does not say this, um, that this is what happens. But nevertheless, um, compute the empirical probability that exactly one tail occurred. Well, based on what we, we see up there, one tail happens zero times. So this happened zero out of twenty times. Okay. Um, matter of fact, let me erase that. It happened zero out of twenty times. Okay. Now we all know we reduce that that's zero. Um, so that um, empirically that means it didn't happen. Theoretically, zero means something a little different. We'll talk about that um, once we get into some theoretical probability. Uh, number two, a die is rolled 50 times with the following results. And so again, you see the frequency table. It says compute the empirical probability that the die comes up a 5. Okay, so 16 out of the 50 times, we had this particular occurrence, or um, 5 being uh, the success here, the, or the focus. We don't want to leave this. We'll reduce this, obviously, so this is 8 over 25. Okay, so that is the empirical probability, and, and that's just simply listing these things out, reducing fractions. Okay, um, from this point forward, everything else that we do will be dealing with theoretical probability, and the reason why is because empirical probability is very interesting. 
Um, and empirical probability requires a lot of simulations and experiments. You've got to flip the coin. You've got to roll the die. You've got to draw the, the balls out of the bag. Whatever the experiment is, you've got to do those to be able to compute empirical probability. And so we won't do that a whole lot. Um, the next video that you'll look at, um, we'll start with number three and work through six. And it'll actually be an introduction into theoretical probability.